Okay, this is going to be kind of a weird meta review almost. I don't feel like I'm ready to review this thing yet, but uh, I want to talk about my thought process and why I don't think so at the time. So as you can see, it's the Smith & Wesson Extraction and Evasion Tomahawk. And I've tested it. The weird thing is, somehow, on an emotional level, I kind of hate it. <laughs> and you know, as a reviewer, you have to make sure that you're not being too subjective. I mean, every review is subjective to an extent. It's unavoidable. We're not machines, okay? But if there is something weird, like you have a, a strange gut reaction to something, or something bothers your personal taste in particular, you have to make sure that you have actual, you know, rational objections to it. You can't just say, oh, it sucks, I don't like it. That's that's not good enough. As a reviewer, you have to be a, have to try to be a bit more objective. Even though you can't be 100% objective, you, you at least have to try. And the thing with this is, you know, I, I also looked up what people think about it in general, because I was suspecting that I might have kind of a personal bias against it somehow. And it seems that people in general are very happy with it. I've seen nothing but positive reviews. Uh, even though, you know, Smith & Wesson in general, I know that there are plenty of people who dislike uh, Smith & Wesson products that are not firearms. And yeah, I can kind of see why, because their knives and, and other stuff can be pretty much hit or miss. There is some really low quality stuff. There's also some, you know, better products. So it's hard to tell sometimes. As far as this is concerned, this is actually made of decent steel. This is high carbon steel. It's not some generic cheapo stainless steel like whatever, 420J2 or something. Uh, but the thing is, if you look at the, the blade here, the edge grind, if I can get the camera to focus, there it is. And you see how thick that is? That is massively thick. This thing doesn't actually have an edge. I mean, look at this. Look at how blunt this is. Okay, I can do this all day, saw away at my hand, and nothing happens because the thing is just so dull that you can almost call it blunt. It's... It's terrible in that regard. And that's also the reason why I was absolutely unimpressed when I was chopping with it because I can barely get anything done with it. Even when making sure to cut at an angle to get, you know, kind of that wedge into the wood, it barely does anything. And it's kind of weird because I have seen videos where it seems to perform a lot better. So I know I'm, I'm wondering, am I just... Am I just completely incompetent? Am I just using it like an idiot? But then again, I can take a machete and, you know, in direct comparison, it's that much better. It, I can just easily cut a, a V-shape into it. No problem. I can chop through the same branch in no time, whereas this here barely does anything. So I'm, I'm genuinely confused by this. And uh, then there's also the thing that the grip, you see how that sticks out? It does not, it is not very well fitted at all. It just, I mean, you can t imagine that this, when using it, your hand just, your palm rubs against that all the time, that ridge here, basically. And uh, let's see, I think there was on the other side as well. Yeah, there you go. And the thing is just, I mean, look at how extremely thick it is. That is like the thickest piece of, of metal on any tool that I've seen so far. And I think it's overkill. It just makes it unnecessarily heavy. And yeah, I know the additional weight helps it in chopping. I mean, it's supposed to be a, a breaching tool, as it says there, you know, extraction. You're supposed to you know, rescue people with this, like hack through a door or whatever you have to do to get to them. Yeah, I get that. But, uh, you know, why not make 
this part here, the tang, if you will, why not make that a bit thinner? It would still be very, you know, durable and everything. Just so that you have a bit more heft just at the head, because that's, you know, that generates a bit more impact than if it, if it's distributed more evenly. Yeah, in case of a fighting tool, that's what you want. You want to have, if, if it a bit more well balanced, but if you're just going to chop through any kind of material that's not going to fight back, then I think you actually want to have the weight more distributed at the end, not so much down here at the grip. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of confused about this. I don't feel like I should do an actual review yet. So this is not an official review, just to make sure you understand that. It's more just you know, talking about my thoughts about this, because I'm really not sure, is it me? Is, is that just, you know, some kind of weird personal aversion that I have to it? I, I, I don't, I also don't like how it looks. Again, that's definitely not anything you can criticize any kind of product for. If you just say, oh, it's ugly. Yeah, that's just, that's just you. That's just you being silly if you, if you include that in a review. So I guess I wasn't too positive to start out with, but even so, like just from the tests, I I couldn't really achieve much with this thing. And uh, yeah, like like you see, I can just <laughs> saw away at, at myself here and it does literally nothing. So of course the question is, if, is it just this one? Is it just a lemon? So I'm not quite sure what to make of it. It's, uh, the material is fine, but just in, in terms of performance and in terms of how it feels, you know, how it handles, it, I kind of hate it, <laughs> I have to say. But yeah, I have to see what to make of it. I'll probably have to test it some more. And yeah, maybe something occurs to me. Maybe I'll figure out why I feel the way I do. But the way it is, yeah, like I said, this is kind of a meta review. This is mainly a video to show you how I go about, you know, what my thought process is when testing something and when trying to make up my mind about it. Just so you see that I'm not just going with my initial gut feeling and just go, yeah, this is awesome, or no, I can't stand it. <laughs> I try to be a bit more objective about it, even though objectivity in humans, that doesn't really <laughs> go too well together. Anyway, maybe you find this somewhat insightful or at least amusing. <laughs> we'll see.